Hello, hello everyone. Man, I look nasty. Whew. Gotta shave. Wanna walk wanna welcome everyone to the show. Guys, I'm not gonna be here long. So I've had a couple of questions on uh how I did my wagon. And just wanna show you that and my camera setup. See if anyone tunes in. Take a look at my awful garage that's so messy. I want to welcome everyone for coming in. Make sure this is nice, nice and loud. Four people are ready. Fishing, not catching. Paul Meadow, what's going on, buddy? Michael Murillo, first one here, close. <laughs> JB Outdoors, thank you for being here, guys. Look, look at this, man. If I, I always want to have my hair cut, shaved, and that's why I don't do as many as videos. But I was like, you know what? It is what it is. I think y'all guys like me either way. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick video. Mr. Avid, I saw some of your videos. I, I saw the last one, part three. Um, I need to see the other ones. They're a little bit long, but I, I'll see most of it. Maurice, thank you for coming in. Three thumbs up already. Guys, really quickly, I want to show you my... my Mr. James Dockery asked me about my wagon. And, um, well, you know what? Before we do the wagon, let's do the camera. I'm going to turn this around. Oh, cancel. I almost, almost did the same thing as last time. All right, guys, so there's there's my wagon. I kind of modified it just a little bit. I had the rod holders on the back side. Now I put them on the side so we can see a better takedowns on the show. All right, guys. So let me just show you really quickly my camera setup. I do have my wife's old iPhone because I, I can't have it there. But this is where I set my, my, my phone during the show right here. But my, my phone overlaps under here and under here back, back in here. So this is my, my camera setup. Um, I do like the pistol grip tripod. Um, I can move around a lot quicker, move it around, position it a lot faster than the actual tripod I have in my hands here. Maria Dobson, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate that. Um, a lot of this is chunky rigged. Um, so I have I have this this camera. I'm sorry, this this light facing, of course, that way. So when I do put on my better camera on. Um, I will hit the light here, the light, and then of course the light turns on and I'll switch the camera and that, that, that way we can have a better picture that way. I do have my mic on top. I had to glue it here, guys. I use a special uh, silicone glue here, glued it. This is an actual, uh, it holds um, my old GoPro. So I stuck my, my mic and my dead cat, my dead cat right in there. Um, I do, of course, I had again extension and I do run this here to be charging the phone and it, it does go up to the mic and then I'm also charging my phone at the same time. I do run um, this, I guess, I don't know what you call battery source. It's connected to three things. Kentucky, thank you so much for, for being here. Just kind of, kind of going over really quickly my camera setup. So this, this thing runs three things. It runs my ring light, this light. This light can't be on the whole show, guys, because it, it will drain the battery. Um, so I do turn it off. I do only turn this, this light on when I'm using this camera facing this way. Uh, we will always have a better view, a better camera shot with this one. But my big phone overlaps in here. Um, so that's what I use for, for my shots. I did have some questions on my camera setup. Once again, it does, it does run. My ring, my ring light, it does charge this one, the light facing the, the show, and then my um, charges my phone at the same time. You need a battery, send me some specs. <laughs> um, so anyways, there's, there's a setup for that, guys. I'm, now I'm gonna go to the, the wagon. I'm not sure if James Docker is here. I told him that I would send him some, uh, some pictures. I just painted this. And I kind of messed it up. I had to do it over twice and I'm still not happy with it. Guys, these are just PVC here. These are PVC. And this is a one, a one by five board. This board, I used to have it over here. I used to have the holes, two holes drilled at here. And I use these uh, quick, let me take this off real quick. So I don't know what you call these uh, quick quick ties. They hold pretty well. So I used to have have these two holding right here on the show right there. But 
um, this, the last show we did, I didn't like the takedowns as much from a view seeing it sideways. So now we moved it, we moved it here to the side. That's where we're gonna have it now, depending on the terrain where I'm fishing at. Um, so what I did, guys, I took this apart. I, I lifted these, I painted them, I lit them higher. I just tried to use a, a, a silicone and that silicone didn't work. So I actually had to drill holes and put two screws so they would be in place. I did add my twist to it. This is forest of paint, so it's gonna look really good, really cool with the black lights. I'm coming guys. I hope the wind's not too bad. Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Lyle, thank you so much for being here. Just kind of go over really quickly. Um, the camera, I'm sorry, my wagon. And there's the black lights. I keep getting confused on, I was telling people, Palmetto Elston. Oh, good, good. No, no wind at all. Good, good. We're in a good spot here, but the wind, the trees are, are moving around. So how I, how I hold these, the black lights, these are 20 watts. I keep telling people they're 30 watts, but I looked it up what I purchased on Amazon. They're 20 watts. And then I, I drilled one hole here and one here, but, but the lights were too close to this handle. Every time I had to put the handle back in place. So I just moved them over here. And then I also drilled the hole here. So if we need to put the camera at this fish in here, depending so we can see the takedowns. So now we have three. I only had this one, so I just drilled out two more. And then this this part stays in place, this nut. And then I have a washer. And then I guess a butterfly nut, is that what you call it? But that's what's holding my two black lights. We'll put that back in place real quick. Guys, I just want to do a quick video. Um, James Dockery asked me, he, he, he said he was interested in doing a wagon like this. He asked me where I bought the wagon. Guys, the wagon is just a plain wagon that you can get at any box store, sporting goods stores. I, this one I got at Dick's. I don't know what I paid, um, like 50 or 60 bucks. It's just a regular folding wagon. This here, that's what holds my rods. Um, I just painted this just because, just because I'm chunky. Um, let's go over my uh, inverter real quick here. Let me go get mine first. See, hopefully that doesn't fall down. And this is what powers the show right here. Once again, the battery, the one Michael Murillo sent me, is in there. Um, it, it is a, a Husky. It's a 750 watt. Yeah, 750 watt. Husky inverter. Uh, Dieter, when he tuned in the live stream before, he said he, he heard traffic, but it wasn't traffic, it was the inverter. So it doesn't make a lot of sound. It makes a little bit of sound. 19 people here. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. I know I'm not going to questions. So I want to quickly just go over how I do my wagon. Um, I think some of you are somewhat interested in on, on my wagon, hopefully, Y'all can also do the show the way I do it if you like it. Um, I think the show is doing pretty good. And um, I don't know. If you have any questions, let me know. There's, let's go over my rods. I just, some rods are right there, laying there. 20 people. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Greatly appreciate that. All right. Brandon Abbott. Carping catfish tips and tricks. Thank you so much for being here. Small wagon. Yeah, I saw your your um your wagon uh, video you put on um yesterday. I used to have a wagon like that many many years ago back in Texas. Um, the only thing about that one, it's not collaps collapsible. This wagon, guys. Those of you don't don't have a pickup truck, you can put this wagon in a car. Um, and the one you have is really nice, heavy duty, but it's just too heavy for me. Not that I'm that weak, but it just it doesn't collapse but it is a very nice wagon i like the way you you did a new one oh we can't worry ccbt you going fishing tonight um probably probably not tonight i don't think so i'm not sure what the weather it's hot you can see how it's sweating it's hot and humid here mason and cookie were in the pool we bought a little pool we usually put a 15 foot um inflatable not inflatable but the quick the ones that go up with the rim couldn't find one they wanted ridiculous money 
20 people here. Thank you so much. Once again, just want to do a quick, it's just a plain wagon guys from Dick. So you can order these on Amazon, probably as cheap as probably 40 bucks. And um, let me go and get that. Uh, oh, there's my camera setup. I love that camera setup. It works really, really, really well for me. Oh, let me just go over this real quick here. I did add, oh, look, it's drizzling here. Um, I did add tape here. And the reason I have tape here, when I have my camera, of course, this is my wife's old phone. I just put it here just for demonstration purposes. My phone goes behind here. And then this light, sometimes y'all see a little bit of light on the, on the camera shot here. Let me know, guys. I can, all I have to do is just move the phone over this way. Um, I, do, I do run it so I can be charging my phone and it runs up to my mic. This, did, this mic is inside an old housing of a GoPro. Um, I do have it there, so if I, turn, if I turn the camera over and you're gonna use the backside of the camera, which is always a better shot, I can quickly turn the mic if I remember. But what I'm working on is for the mic to stay there. You see that? So, you know, there, there's always something. Just trying to get it right. Um, that dead cat is from Amazon. It was nothing expensive, but it does work okay. I did have to stuff some napkin paper back in here because the hole was too big. You know, I'm just keeping it real. I'm not trying to hide anything. Just letting people know what, what, I, what I do. And it, it seems to wor be working okay. Sorry, guys, for the, moving the camera so much. And once again, this here, this uh, light. Let me go over this light here. It's on Amazon, and it's made for, like, going underwater. But... All right, here's the thing, what I did, guys. Um, it has a little door and it seals really well. But if you wanna charge it, you have to have the door open um, to be charging this. So what I did, I drilled a hole there. Of course, it's not waterproof anymore. Um, and I'm always charging it right there. Once again, guys, when, I, when we're, watch, we're watching the um, YouTube live, and I hit the camera to place that way. It's always going to be a better shot. And of course, this illuminates um, the fish or whatever. And I can be charging it when I turn it off. All right. Gre greatly appreciate. Sorry, guys, for moving so much. But I don't want to waste anyone's time. Just really quickly. Let me get my... Uh... I did buy... Um new pvc because this one i didn't like the way it turned out really that much i really didn't want to make these holes here um and screw it down but i i did two different types of silicone caulking right here I, this is an oil base and it didn't hold so and then i put like a latex high quality latex and it still it never it never dried i had the heater on so i had i had to drill the hole so these wouldn't move um all this is guys is pvc the one by four that's that's what holds that's what holds the the rods let me put this on really quick this is just show, just to show you how uh, good luck michael michael's gonna go be, be fishing i think he said next friday he's gonna be going for those big cat uh flatheads i love that. yeah the, um, these work awesome that's that's what i've been using but once again um, I did notice on my last live stream, I had this on the back side. And yes, we can see the takedowns, but it's always better when you have a side view and we can all enjoy the takedowns. Um, that's why now I didn't have these holes drilled out. Um, I did drill it out. You can see how I try to put caulk in here. I, I made a big mess. I had to take it all apart. I was pretty unhappy with how it turned out, but I do have material to make another one if this doesn't work out. Let me just show you how, how quick, guys, this, this, we can put this on here. That's how quick it takes, how long it takes to, to add that 
All right, people, just a quick video. I did this one for those people who are interested in my wagon. James Dockery asked me, um, he, he wanted to buy a wagon. He thought I purchased it and I, it just, I made it this way. So I greatly appreciate it. Any questions guys, before I head out? Oh, Mr. Glenn, thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate that. All right, awesome people. That's it. Anyone who wants to, to do a show the way I do it, there you go. Do some black lights, fluorescent paint, or just wrap it with some uh, fluorescent tape that reflects back. You fishing tonight? Um, I don't think so, but maybe maybe this weekend. You want to come say hi, baby? We're on YouTube. Come say hi real quick. Here comes Mason, guys. Come over here. Come over here. Sit over here. I just see them. Come here. No, they, they're going to say... Say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Say, look at my, my daddy's wagon. Look at my wagon. Look. I'm showing them the wagon, baby. I look, there's, there's Marie Dobson. Say hello, Marie. Hello, Marie. Say hi. Hi, Marie. Yeah. Carping catfish. Yeah. He has a son, too, that does YouTube also with him. YouTube? Appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much yeah. for saying hello to Mason. Thank mm -hmm. you. There you go. Look, Mr. Lyle. Say hello, Mr. Lyle. Hey, it's really Lyle. <laughs> Say hello, Maurice. Hello, Maurice. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. Jason, thank you so much. Look, Michael Murillo. No. Michael Murillo is awesome. He's the one that sent us the battery. The battery that's in, where is it? In there. Yeah. All right, guys, y'all are awesome. I appreciate it. Till the next one. Maybe this weekend, I don't know, I'll see if I can go fishing. Look, I'm sweating here. It's just so humid here in Virginia. All right, guys, y'all are awesome and amazing. Appreciate it. Take care. Thank you, Mr. Glenn.